right. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. I'm actually shooting this little intro portion after ECC, post ECC. I'm just leaving Pomona now. I'm gonna drive back home. Uh, hopefully this vlog will be sort of uh, just a mishmash of videos from ECC. It was a crazy event. It was really huge. And you know, ECC is the biggest event in our industry. It is the Super Bowl of vaping. It's the WrestleMania of vaping. It's the biggest event in our industry. And so, of course, I'm gonna go. Amber Juice, Epic Clouds, Grim Cult, whatever. We did not have a table there. We did last year, we did not this year. But, <clears throat> you know, it's in SoCal, it's in Cali, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to ECC and I'm gonna see my friends and I'm gonna taste juices and I'm gonna try mods and I'm gonna have a great time. It was overwhelming. And there were four big, five huge halls at this fairplex, at these fairgrounds type of area. Um, a couple of them actually had air conditioning, but the big hall, the Cosmic Fog Hall, the biggest hall, Hall 4, the one that I was in the majority of the time, had these piddly little swamp coolers, and it was hot as fuck in there. Just heat for days. It was ridiculous. <clears throat> And we did the, uh, you know, the Beyond Vape giveaway, so there'll be some footage of that. There's a little short beer thing. There's a little bit of a first impressions. I built some titanium coils. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah, hopefully you can watch some of that after this uh, intro, and then I'll I'll wrap it up after afterwards. I don't even know if there's going to be enough footage to fill a whole vlog. Um, but I have a little rant to do at the end as uh, as well. So after you see all the ECC nonsense, you're gonna join me back here in the car, hopefully before the sun goes down, and we'll uh, we'll talk a little bit more. So see you at the end. Oh, nothing. I'm not filming video. You're not filming video of me putting cream cheese on a bagel, right? Yeah. I just I like to see how the pros do it. Oh, because I'm Jewish. <laughs> So you know I know how to put cream cheese on a bagel? No, come on. Yeah. Uh oh, V God's here. What's up, Vigata? I love Cream Cream with all my cock. <laughs> <laughs> We're up here with Amanda. What up? Keith, hey. what, up? what up? This is on top of the uh, Craft Vapory bus. You get a nice little view of the event here. It's crazy. It's crazy. Look at all these people. And this is, uh, this is one hall. There's like four halls all together, and they're all huge. I can't even believe how big this show is. It's, it's ridiculous. It's so big, but we're hanging out up here just to get away and, and chill. Look at that. Good times. Good times. Yeah. Oh, well, look at Squid Dude go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Kent's just standing. <laughs> Kent's just standing. Just standing. He's barely moving. Yeah, I want to go a little slow. Should we go kick him? Push him, maybe. No, no we're not gonna kick him. He needs a little momentum. Paper. Ruby Roo! Oh, oh, Hot dog on it. Show everybody your mod, Ruby Roo. What is this? This is the Classique. 
And it is a wooden mech box. Wow, fancy. And uh, Amanda, oh, sorry. Amanda M gave this to me. Amanda, Amanda M. M is here. Shout out to Amanda M for a thousand years from this point. Yes, done. Done and we'll done. make it happen. What's this? The phenotype Elbra, anarchist, Aria Bill, Hell yeah, Beyond Bay. Let's get a look at that deck. Hell oh, yeah. You can't take that off. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that's the new RDA. I'm going to build on it with titanium wire. Look at that. Oh, look at that airflow. Just all the way open. Oh, work life. Mm, cheers. Beers. Beers. How do I not have a beer right now? <laughs> that's what I should have done. Oh shit, which way is right side up? Grim vision. That's shit. I don't know which way is right side up. It won't switch. Ah. So, I, uh, I got the new Vapor Shark DNA 200, right? And this atomizer, we're shooting video, all good. And I did a titanium build. Turned out pretty good. What do you think of this titanium build? Nice. It's, it's not bad, right? It's, it's nice okay. space. Man. I've never done it before. Can I send you one of mine so you can build it? Because I can't build like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ruby Roo hooked it up with my little Lane Cove vapor package. And she wrote Tooth Life on it because she's sweet and wrote Tooth Life on it. So I'm going to juice this up and vape it. Oh, it's video vape pool again. This is for the vlog. Awesome. So, uh... Would you like this open now? Do you want this open or you want me to put it away for you? No, I want it open. I want that shit open. Omboyak. What up, Omboyak? Yeah. So, Doug... <laughs> Hang on. Look at this. It's like summer camp out here. Yeah. Doug from Boilermaker uh, is having a barbecue, and we're barbecuing with Boilermaker, and basically everybody cool is here. Just in one spot. And right here in one spot. There's like uh, When are you moving to California? I don't know. When am I what? They're moving to California. Yeah. There's, there's this guy. There's this guy. Vape Hooligans is here. Hi. Instagram famous. Not Instagram famous. Yeah, kind of. No, just some dude on Instagram. Yeah. Well, he's, he's a big deal. He's a big deal. Uh oh. What? Oh no. What? Vlogception, dude. It's how it's how we roll. Thank you. I love you. Mmm. Maybe this can be the vlog's beer segment. Young's double chocolate stout. Mmm. Mm. Jameson's way better. Mmm. Delicious. It is actually really good. It's good. It's a stout. It's the double chocolate stout. It's Young's double chocolate stout. It's not as good as the Sammy Smith double chocolate stout. Because I've tried that before a lot of times. Why haven't you tried it? Because it's not spelled Jameson. <laughs> it's so good. That's, that's what stopped me from buying it. Okay, okay. Well, Who's that? State your name, please, for the record. Uh, Chelsea uh, Mechanic. Don't say your last name. Oh, Chelsea Not Mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> You see, this is why I love Society of Vape, because she's just such a joy to be around all the time. All the time. If this is Chelsea from Society of Vape. This. Society of Vape. No, Hell yeah, dude. Careful. Oh yeah, dude. Oh god, careful. Oh, a drop can't. almost hit the ground Here. of her beard. Oh my gosh, I just took a drink. And then Ruby Roo, who's in the vlog all the time. You you were like 90% of my last vlog. The la at VaporCon? Uh, uh, Moots, Moots was. Moots was. Do? But you Did were I in it too because you were doing the... Uh, 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 uh. Did I have a vlog? 
Yeah. Did I tell you what, what I do with your vlogs? No, what do you do with them? I uh, I go to the gym and I go on the treadmill and I put my earphones in and I put my phone up and I watch your vlog throughout my treadmill really? run. Yeah, totally. That's, I'm honored. No, that that's the only thing that gets me. I'm like, oh, that half an hour, cool. great, let's go. Let's do arms, bro. Let's get like let's do. Let's get our pump on. Oh, boy, yeah. Let's Sorry. get that yacht life going. Yeah. <laughs> No, I know, but I only watch 30 minutes and then I pause and then the next day it's like another 30 minutes and it takes like five times at the gym it to finish It takes like a whole week yeah, for Chelsea. Because my vlogs are 17 hours long. I just make popcorn, sit down in my boxers. I, I literally, that's what I did. I it's Twisted Messes. I seriously watch them naked. I reviewed uh, Twisted Messes RDA and it has weak O-rings. <laughs> yeah. That's the selling point. Hey, can I tell you See? This is for my subscribers. That's Twisted Messes right there. And I have no problem saying his RDA has weak O-rings. Because he thinks that's a selling point. It is. The weak O-rings, you can pull it off easily. You can pop, pop that top off It's a tripper. It's, for, it's a tripper, bro. You know, Yacht Life. You drip, bro. No. Why don't you buy a Nautilus? It's Why don't you buy a Nautilus, bro? Yeah, if you don't want to be able to take a Do you want a pillow fight, bro? Or the tugboat. Get a tugboat. Squid Dude's never been in a vlog. Say hi, Squid Dude. What's up? Squid Dude, follow him on Instagram. Crazy builds. He sells his coils. Where can we buy your coils? You can buy them at twistedmesses.com, oh, beyondvape.com, awesome. and refugevapers.com. I'll put links to all of those in the description so you can check out a Squid Dude build he gave me a build and was that niagara falls yeah you gave me yeah. he gave me a little back tube in april. Hey, back in april niagara falls he gave me a little tube of squid dude builds and they three were tubes. Rad. were they three tubes <laughs> three you tubes. gave me a lot of coils and i didn't wow i squandered them sorry sorry it's squid dude good. it's all good right i don't know what's happening oh i'm getting molested that's okay let's get a I don't know. Does anybody see anybody familiar over there? That guy. There's some uh, local vape girls. Erica. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're in the vlog now, vape you know hooligans. Vlog again. You guys know vape hooligans, right? You've been in the vlog before. Follow him on Instagram. I'll post the link in the description so you can follow it. That would be awesome. Yeah, I will, of course. That's, I really will kiss you. For that. No, please don't. Okay. Uh, I thought it was gonna happen for a second, but it's all right. Anyways, so yeah, and then I watched uh, Ruby's Schwartz video. Can I please tell you that that's my favorite review video Take besides yours? It's video. It's video, dude. We're no. talking. This is for the We're vlog. Press, press the button to take the picture. It's recording fucking video. Dude, hold on. Let me get a good face. Is that a good spot? You can take a picture while you're shooting right video? Bro, here, take the picture. <laughs> so much Chelsea cheek in that. It was like 90% no, cheek. Pretty sure it was no. No, uh, we'll see when we get there. It's science. This has been only five minutes. All right. Well, there'll be more to come. Hey, vlog. Vlog people. What? This dude. I love him. I love you, Chelsea. I love you. I love Nick Chelsea. Nicholas Green right here. Well, we don't need to hold, throw the whole name out there. Okay, Nick. Oh, uh, sorry, Grim Green. Yeah. Mm. Ruby Root. Everybody loves Ruby. Suck my mod. Every time. Suck my mod. Please. Suck my mod's not Vigilante here. Vigilante Juice Company. Vigilante. Man. Stop yeah. it. What up, Tugbo? I just realized that I showed my titanium build, but I never, like, uh, actually vaped it. I do. I have Periscope. I should do something on Periscope. Spider silk titanium wire, dual 14 wrap, spaced, uh, 0.27 ohms, 94 watts, 540 degrees. This is now the best temperature control experience I've ever had.
It's warm for like two seconds, and then the temperature kicks in. I think it's because the titanium heats up so fast. I need to do more science. But it comes out really hot, and then it drops suddenly, but you can still vape it. You still get a nice vape experience. So that's a thing. Amy Jeanette, Ruby Roo, I don't know. She's eating hot dog on a stick. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, good. It was. It's gone. I just had cheese on a stick for the first time today. It's basically the best food I've ever had in my life. It's fried cheese on a stick. I want it. I want. I didn't know what to expect. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a grilled cheese sandwich on a stick. On a friggin' stick. The only way to make it better is put bacon in it. That would be great. Bacon cheese on a stick. That would be an instant heart attack. Yeah, you would just die. Right. It would be delicious. It would be delicious, but you would die. Uh, so I got a 22 millimeter Kennedy that they redid the airflow on. So it's like the 24. And then I got Jason here. Jason? Hell yeah, Jason. To build this on it. Look at this. Look at these coils. That is crazy. Oh my god. Okay. And he did it in like five minutes. I mean, he knocked this out like like nobody's business. I don't know how he does it. I guess I need to practice more, <laughs> right? Simple. It's simple. It's practice simple. It's perfect. Says. It's simple. Yeah, that looks badass. I can't wait to vape it. How many reps did you say? I did six reps. Yeah, six rep blocks. Yeah. Like Aria Bill, some 
Beyond Just drinking booth. some Chimay. Just drinking some Chimay. Look at this head. Ruby Roo's gonna make me drink through it like a man. You ready? Let's cheers. It's gonna... To friendship. To friendship. And ACC. And ACC, yes. Oh. Chimay is always good. Okay. It's always good. That's nice. It's really nice. This room is really hot for sure. I get though. like I get spicy flavors from it. Oh, it's really especially I, when I it's a little spi warmer, yeah. which it is now. It's spicy. It's good. That's delicious. Thanks, Nick. Hey, thanks, Ruby Ruby. Okay. Cheers. ECC. ECC. 2015. Let's 2015. Make this happen. Yeah. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> so, if my weather app is to be believed, it's 103 degrees right now in Pomona, California. And we have vendors that are stuck outside. And there's no traffic in here. All the halls are packed with people. There's people everywhere. Cosmic Fog Hall, packed with people. Out here, empty. It's just empty. And then we have vendors stuck outside. And there's vendors all the way down there. They go up and down this little promenade. And they're stuck outside in this heat with no foot traffic whatsoever. I think that's stupid. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, but what are you gonna do? I get it. Hey, CJ Vaping Monkey. Hey, can I talk to you real fast? Okay. Why are there vendors outside? Because we had a massive overflow, and then on the last two days, the farm marshal kicked out two of the walls out, and this was the only way we could accommodate, but uh, like, I, like I told the board that afterwards, we're gonna try to make a resolution for those that stayed in till today. Okay, okay. So things are getting dealt with. Yes. So it wasn't anything with planning. It was no. because the fire marshal literally came in and said, you can't have people in here right, right. now. Right. This is Pomona's uh, first show where they dealt with like double deckers and stuff. So it's kind of frustrating because it's like they'll go through one hall, they'll say it's good. And then the second time around, they'll say, oh, well, that hall's bad. And oh, I think they're doing a video. During the event, during the event, hall right. 10, 9, and 7, they're like, okay, this wall's not good. And we're like, oh, my goodness. Right. But... You know, like I said, I apologize for, you know, the people outside, but we'll make sure there will be a resolution for them after. Good. I know you will. That's good. Thanks, CJ. Thank you. I didn't mean to put you on the spot like oh, that. I was just shooting some video waiting for my pizza. I was like, fuck, it's hot as balls out here. You're like, oh, it's, 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 it's CJ's there. Stuck out here. And I was like, let's, ask, let's just ask CJ. No. I mean, why it's why it's happening. I know. But, you, you, know, know. you know, during the days, too, we are trying to move in people one by one. And right I now, saw a couple of them got back inside. So, yeah, we try to maximize it, but... Yeah, you can only do so much. I get that. Thank I get you. that. It's all good, bro. Thanks for thanks for a good event. Thank you. Thanks, CJ. All right, good. So, yeah, CJ. Straight from CJ, one of the organizers. Uh, yeah, and I mean, I get that, and hopefully there's some sort of resolution with the vendors that are stuck outside, because right now, all I, want, all I want to do is go back inside. So yeah, that was basically ECC, all, all of the footage that I shot at ECC anyway. The event itself was fun. I had a fun time. Was it as executed as perfectly as it could have been? Uh, probably not. As big as ECC is, it still feels like an amateurish event. It is the biggest event in our industry, but in the scope of events, it is it, it still feels amateurish. And that's not to say that the organizers aren't doing a good job. It's that these organizers aren't professional organizers. They are just passionate vapors, shop owners, business owners that throw a big event. And I'm not saying I'm some, you know, professional event organizer, but that's it. I don't know how to finish that sentence. We're not professional event organizers. And hoping that next year ECC can be in a better location and can be a little bit better executed. I know, uh, you know, and you saw in the video after talking to CJ, it did run into some problems with 
the fire uh, marshal came and through and had to move a bunch of vendors outside and it was 102 degrees outside and there were vendors outside with getting no traffic not having anybody stop at their booth it was uh, it was it was ridiculous i was just like that's terrible if that if i was that vendor and i had paid a lot of money to be at ECC and then when you arrive they say sorry the fire marshal said you have to be outside I would have said bye can I have a refund please because this is horseshit I would not have stuck I would not have stuck it out outside there's no way it was so hot out there but overall like I said it was a good event it was just huge my ideal event is a smaller event obviously but not necessarily I love small events I love VaporCon West but I thought bigger events like VCCPA and VPX in Niagara Falls, I think VPX in Niagara Falls is still is my favorite event of this year. It's the best event that I went to this year because it was large, but it wasn't insane. And it was all under one roof. And that convention center was decently located to a large hotel that people could stay in and then there was a casino across the street for after hours this ECC was attached to a very small Sheraton which none me or none of my friends were staying at Ruby Roo was staying at a hotel almost a half an hour away I was up the street Dwayne was Dwayne and Twisted Messes were in the complete opposite direction so if we wanted to hang out after the event we all had to drive back to our hotel rooms and drive somewhere else and find a common place to meet. Rather than just being able to go from your hotel to the convention, back to your hotel, and then hang times, which is how an event should go, <laughs> this, this, did, this, this was not that. Um, some fresh memories, because they're still in my head as I just left the event. I love hanging out with Omboy OC. I love hanging out with him. Twisted Messes, Squid Dude, uh, Squid Dude's better half was there, and she's just delightful. Um, Vape Hooligans and his better half was there as well. There's just so many people, like Justin from Malicious, really good times, really good times. James and Ilea from Dot Mod, they're just wonderful people to spend time with. And on this trip at this vape meet, I finally got to, finally, finally got to hang out with, uh, Amanda M, XOXO, what up Tugboat, uh, I've been friends with her for years, we hung out very briefly at, at a vape bash a number of years ago, and she came to ECC, and we finally actually got to hang out and have, you know, hashtag good friendship time, of course Ruby Roo is one of my nearest and dearest friends, I absolutely love her, and I love hanging out with her. Matt and Vanessa were there, and we got to hang out, and it was great. There was just, you know, a lot of good people and a lot of good Cali people that I got to hang out with. Um, as for the vendors at the event, a lot of liquid vendors, a lot of China vendors, and a lot of mod makers, and it's, it's nice. It's refreshing to see some mod makers there who are, you know making and selling these mods. Of course, Craving Vapor was there with their Hexomes. Vapor Shark was there with their new DNA 200 watt Vapor Shark that uses a LiPo battery. It was cool. I, I saw a lot, I saw more cool mods and atomizers at this ECC than I have at any other vape meet. Um, when I went to VCCPA, like I said, the majority of it was liquid vendors. And there were a lot of liquid vendors at ECC as well. And I got to try some really cool stuff. Um, Lonnie and Craft Vapory hooked me up with some juice. They have a mango sticky rice juice, which is pretty fantastic. It is pretty delicious. I got to try all sorts of juices, all sorts of flavors. Um, of course, Nut Blowing Smoke was there. The Vaping Militia was there. There was a lot of advocacy there. And, you know, there was also dumb shit. But someone said it best on Instagram when they said, find me a community of people that doesn't have drama, and I'll, he said something. Basically making the point that all communities have drama. Yes, our community has fucking drama, and it's all over the place. And there was some dumb shit that happened. There was a vendor, who I'm not gonna list their name, but they got the bright idea to start throwing juice bottles into the big crowd, and 
they started throwing 120 mil glass bottles into the crowd. What about that seems like a good idea? 120 mil glass bottles. Some girl got hit in the head. They were hitting the ground and shattering. Some guy slipped on the VG, on the juice that had shattered all over the ground, fell on the ground, and his knee hit broken glass. That is stupid. That was a stupid move, and people just need to not be stupid. Anyway, great people, great vendors. Uh, I got to officially meet Wire Theory. I'll post the link in the description to her Instagram. She does crazy builds. She built up one of these, a new RDA that I got that I can't think of the name right now, but the sun's going down, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up. There's gonna be a lot of first impressions coming up. I finally got a continuous current, uh, Manhattan version two, courtesy of continuous current, as well as two mod God. Um, he hooked it up, he's a solid dude. I got the new Switch mod, which I used most of the weekend with their atomizer. Um, it's not like that aluminum Nurly anymore. It's actually a solid brass uh, mech mod. It's It's been really, really good. I was really impressed with the Vapor Shark 200 watt. I had a great time building some spider silk titanium on there, and it was fun. It was good. It was a good event, and of course, I miss all my friends. And I'll get to be, uh, get to hang out with Ruby again up in Connecticut. We're going up there. Next stop for me is Vape Mania in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. After that, I'm going to be at Vapor Dynasty Expo in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona. After that, I'm going to be up in Ireland, and I think Ireland Vape Fest is going to be my last event of the year. I don't want to do anything in December or January just because of the holidays, and you know, it gets a little bit chaotic doing all this traveling, um, but it was great. Also, Kurt from uh, Cloud Chasers Inc. CCI was there. I got to talk to him for a little bit. We had a really good conversation about stuff. I got to talk to Mark from Sub Ohm Cell, and we talked a little bit about the Sub Ohm Cells and uh, what they are, and we're going to be talking about Sub Ohm Cells in the near future. Additionally, there was this other vendor there, and they were called Brillip Power. Google it, Brillip Power. They have these 18650 batteries that are 32 or 3100 milliamp hour and 40 amp pulse rating with a 20 or yeah, it's their 30 amp continuous 40 amp pulse batteries. So I picked up a couple of those. I picked up one of their 26650s that is supposedly, it's like 4,500 ma and an 80 amp pulse rating on a single 26 650. Interesting. I have a lot of stuff to unpack, a lot of juice, and a lot of sciencing to be done. Um, I picked up some new wires. I got some 22 gauge nichrome from Kidney Puncher. I got some 36 gauge uh, Ni200 from Kidney Puncher as well. And yeah, that's it. That's it. The sun's going down. You know what? This isn't going to be a long vlog. This isn't going to be my traditional hour-long Thursday vlog, but it's going to be a bunch of footage, and I hope that you enjoyed enjoyed watching it. So shout-outs to everybody I got to spend time with at ECC, and shout-outs to everybody at ECC who actually took the time to come up to me and say hi, shake my hand, take a picture. That is always, always cool and always fun. And I know at events, sometimes I get grumpy, like if I'm heading to the bathroom or if I'm heading to try to go get some food or if I'm thirsty or, you know, and I get stopped. And I know sometimes I can be a little grumpy and I do my best to just let that shit slide because that's not what it's about. It's about the event, it's about the people, it's about meeting people and, uh, and uh, having a good time and just vaping your uh, vaping your little face off there. So yeah, that's what I got for today. It's the vlog. I am gone. I'm gone most of the rest. I'm gone the rest of this week. In fact, as you watch this vlog, I am gone again until Monday next week. I'm gonna have another double feature style video, followed it up with a vlog, and then I'm going to North Carolina. So 
Hopefully we'll get some videos up on YouTube. Hopefully we get some good content out there. Hopefully I can run into you, talk to you, hang out with you at one of these events very, very soon. But that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping.